moved to the courts where a high court judge, Justice Dorin Bwacheje, has discontinued the case between the senior minister, Yao Safomafo, and the Auditor General, Daniel Demilovo. According to her, the Chief Justice, Justice Enin Yabwa, has requested the docket for the case. Here's Godfrey Tanam's report. The court did not assign reasons for the Chief Justice's request. In delivering the information to the parties involved, Justice Dorin Boachieje mentioned a petition she did not want to know who wrote it. She added counsel for the parties should contact the court manager for more information on the matter. The senior minister, Yao Osafo Mafo, is appealing against the surcharge and has also filed for a contempt against the Auditor General. The senior minister and four other persons from the finance ministry filed a case against the Auditor General Yao Domelevo for what the Auditor General described as breaches of the Procurement Act that he indicated had led to the payment of $1 million to a UK private firm, Kroll & Associates. The Auditor General, Kroll & Associates, was paid monies for no work done after the senior minister failed to provide evidence of any work done by the firm. The Auditor General further recommended the payment of the $1 million to be disallowed, which was paid by the Ministry of Finance to Kroll and Associates Limited in 2017 to recover assets from identified wrongdoers, among others, without verifying outcomes. This led to the Auditor General's charging the senior minister and four other officers of the Finance Ministry. Yao Safumafu, through this outcome, proceeded to court indicating that the Auditor General erred in law and available evidence proved that as the reality. The government, through the Information Minister Kojo Ponkroma, in September last year said the findings that identified the irregularities were false. The government claimed that the Auditor General did not go through the constitutional practices before going public and announcing the findings.